Oh, the electoral process is on in most states. Based on your experience so far, what would you say about the electoral process? There's a lot of vested interest and you took your stand on one. On. Well, basically, this electoral process has been a marked improvement on what we've seen in previous times. Well, two issues are probably responsible. One is voter education. You know, there's so much education and everybody is now getting possession of that process. That's number one. Number two, of course, is the issue of technology. The type of technology that we have now put into the process and the checks and balances guarantees that what the people want is what they are going to get. And I, I think that that is just great. As soon as we realize that, then the politicians will realize that they needed to work, you know, hard to get the people to do what they want them to do for them. It's not going to be a question of, you know, we can't say anything on their behalf. Nobody's going to be able to say things on behalf of the other person. And that's, that's a good system, I think. Everybody across the nation have been hearing different versions. Uh, I wanted to make a clear statement. Uh, APC said you, uh, you were working uh, for uh, the PDP, and the PDP says, oh, he's on the APC side. What's the clear picture about the, the, the votes and uh, what, why it was cancelled? It's, 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 very, it's very clear, very simple. And I'm sure the, the two parties, they know it. The situation is as follows. The difference between the leader in terms of the votes and the second in place was 75,000 votes. Now, because of various acts of illegalism and gangsterism, uh, hijacking, you know, uh, and so on and so forth, ballot box snatching, 125,000 votes were disqualified. So, when you look at that arithmetic, there are 125,000 people that were denied the opportunity to vote. So we cannot, and the gap between the winner and the second income was 75,000. If the gap has been 126,000, for example, we'll have declared the winner. But the, winner, the, the gap is 75,000, less than 125,000. So what is fair to do is to do another opportunity, give another opportunity in terms of an election, a runoff election, for those 125 people. And then we just compute it. All what they have to do is to make sure that as of polygalism, they don't perpetrate it in emo state, the real election.